Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use ClickUp for real estate CRM. There are going to be two ways how we are going to do this. The first way is going to be yeah, like with a template on the ClickUp and the second way we are going to create it together. Alright, what do you say about that? So the first thing we're going to do is just click here on like let's say plus and then you can choose a template. Now I'm going to write here real estate and you're going to find real estate agent right here. You're just going to click on it and then you can click here. Use template. Now uh, I can like real estate agent right here. My real estate. So the location to this folder to be created. Let's say space import options use template. And now we are going to wait until it's going to like create the folder for us. Here we have it and now how we can do it and how we can use it. Right? So first thing first we see the my real estate and then we kind of find also the contacts here. So that's directly this. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit and we can find that we're going to find the open which are the names, today, tour, if it's going to be scheduled, completed, revisited. Then when you go further, we see the contract, the payment, the listing here that you would add directly uh, under it, property. You can simply add at the option, then you're going to find also the market value that you write here. So this is how we do it. And you're going to have the contact and then the listing. Uh, then what you can do is also have a board, which is like a Kanban. And here you're going to have to open the contacted, the interested negotiation and contract sent. And then you're going to find also the calendar, how it looks like. Now, this is pretty straightforward what you can do here, like in the moment when you're going to uh, have negotiation, you would just like move the person here and they would change. And then you're always going to choose like, let's say I'm going to have a new person here, let's say Marcus. And I'm going to assign it to myself. Due date, let's say it's going to be here. Tour scheduled or yet none. So everything would be none in open in the moment when it's going to be scheduled. I would move that I would add a listing. What kind of listing it is and market value. Of course, you can add a uh, different columns here if you want like numbers, a uh, labels location, but this is pretty much it how we can use it. Then if it's going to be door is scheduled, but here comes the problem with Monday with ClickUp. So let's say that you're going to have a lot of listings. Oh, sorry then you're going to have a lot of people interested. Then you would get overwhelmed in this. So let me just show you how we can, how we are going to create it together, like a completely new one. So let's just go together and we are going to do it. Okay. So we're going to have the space here. We, let's say we are going to create a space, real estate. Okay. You can choose that and edit it as much as you want. Next. And now uh, we're going to have the templates here, but I'm not going to use uh, these are the statuses and I'm going to have the active statuses. So what I will do first, I'm going to add and listings and so so I'll do add a status. This first one is going to be listings. And then also sold. These are going to be the first two. Now I'm going to have next. Then you can choose uh, the click apps as a time estimates, email, milestones, sprints, let's say. And then required views. You can have map here. You can have calendar. And that should be enough, right? Also table is great. 
okay and now we got it I'm going to create a space so when we have the space what we can find here so first thing first I'm going to click plus here and I'm going to have a list right and list name is going to be properties create a list now this is the properties and I'm going to rename the first thing here which is going to get called listings save then simply I'm going to add new status and the status name is going to get okay this will call listing listings like this save and show empty statuses on the top right so let me just move this so I'm going to remove this one so what we'll do is pretty simple now properties list settings list statuses I'm going to delete it delete it and the first one is listings and then the next one is sold like this sometimes this is a little bit tricky on how you can use it okay and we see right here okay show empty statuses yeah but this is something what I don't like about a click up is that you need to really trick it up to see it as, as I want it so again I need to go again to the list settings list statuses and just change this right so the first one is going to be sold and the next one is going to be listings and now when I'm going to refresh it should be as, as I want like this is something I don't really like but it's okay so I'm going to have show empty statuses and again it's different as I want it that's fasting but it's okay so let's say that a uh, listing we're gonna have the first thing is going to be property right what we're gonna do we're gonna have the agent the next thing is we're going to add address so we're going to have a location here okay so we have the address then we're going to have the listing status we're gonna find it straight away just give me a second drop down listing status and in listing status you're gonna have multiple things here right so we're gonna have active then negotiation stock sold contract sent offer made so just like stop the video and you can add these you can always add the colors that you want It's completely up to you now add a column so we have the listing status when we go further we're gonna have the potential buyer which would be connected from uh, the contacts that we would have so then when we go even further we can have a timeline of listing time but if we can actually find it's okay then next follow-up you can have like a due date or start date 
So we can have a date and this would be a date of property added. So that's another thing what you can do and how you can add it. So date of property added, you can have a due date, you can delete it if you want. And then you would have also property type. So this would be again drop down, property type. And then you would add right here in options. So we would have a garden house, apartment, house, building, condo, residential. So to go further, the next one is going to be number. And this would be the price. You would choose the currency add a column and when we go even further you can have as a score feed here so I can go even further and add a gain and this would be a number square feet add a column and here I'm going to add a number of the square feet You can also add numbers as a bedroom, bathroom, um, and then you can have also what I would recommend a link, a website listing. So this is another way what you can do. Listing, right? Add a column. So here I got it. So the next thing what I can do, uh, pretty simple and pretty easily, uh, then just like uh, name it. So let's say this is going to be a uh, property. Rename summer house. Then I have an address. It will be. USA listing status active property type and we can have let's say it's a garden house or like house date of property added due date priority price and then square feet listing right you would add a web page So here you got it. Now, if you're gonna have like have it well, finished, you would have it at the home. What you can do is simply click on the board here. And then as a summer house, you would have listing sold completed, or you can sort it by again, by let's say, or like group by um, listing status, right? And then you would have it as active negotiation, stock sold, contract sent. And that's something you can do too. Have it directly in the board. So here you can have listings. But what I can do also is to simply click here and add a new doc. Not doc, that's not what I wanted. New list, which is going to get called contacts. And here you're going to have multiple things here. So the first thing is going to be potential list. I can add new status and have potential leads like this, save. And now when I have it, I'm going to like show it. Like I, I would easily just hide this, but 
I got no idea how to do that, to be honest. I don't really understand this, why... Okay, so it's going to get deleted. Save. You can also... Okay, this should be much better. Okay, here I got it, finally. Sometimes this is so tricky for me to understand. So what do we have here? Task name is going to be contact. So let's say this is going to be Marcus. Marcus client. And what are we going to get here? Uh, type. So again, drop down. Type. Broker client lead. You can always change the colors. Add a column. Then we can simply add phone number. Email. And we can have like this. And then also link to property. So relationship link to property and I would choose uh, properties here add a column and look what will happen I can simply choose a summer house here which is going to be con directly connected and now what you can also add to your real estate CRM is to simply go add a column and you can choose uh, if you want it to have to be how would I call it uh, if it's open, contacted, or if what kind of relationship you you have with the person. So let's say that you can have drop down here, and I would have a field name, and you can add what we have have here in real estate that we created with our template. That the field name would be progress, right? And option one would be. Um, saw it already saw it interested deciding you, you can decide what how it's going to look like so again Marcus Klein due date progress priority you can change the colors here type if it's elite phone number email and link to property. Now when I would go to the properties, I can simply uh, come here and look at this what I can do. I'm going to add a plus and relationship. Now relationship name can be client to that property that is like interested. And here I can add it from contacts. And I can simply come here, Marcus client, right? And this is how you can do it. So this is pretty much my idea how you can use it and how what you can do with ClickUp. Thank you very much guys for watching. I hope you're going to have a great day and see ya. Goodbye.